ready for Naples, Florida. He ready for Naples, Florida this Sunday. I cannot wait to see y'all. Throw them tickets in the chat if you got your tickets for Sunday. Naples, Florida, Off the Hook Comedy Club. We go live at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? Oh, y'all read in the chat. Ooh. And if you white wine, you make sure you put your champagne glass. I see you with the martini glasses, the spoons, all of it. Thank you so much. Teddy already messed up. Teddy already messed up, okay? Don't forget, we kick off the tour this Sunday. Tasha K on stage.com. For those that are going to be coming to the Atlanta show, we added a second show. I will make sure that my team links that so that you can go directly to that link and purchase it because I do know you guys are emailing me and you're DMing me and you're saying that it's sold out. Yes, one show is sold out, but the 830 show is not sold out. There are tickets left, all right? Or you could go to Uptown Comedy Corner dot net i believe and my ticket link for both are there okay but we're gonna get that link on tasha k on stage.com as well as the other cities hey y'all how's y'all friday oh my gosh mine has been hot and i know i'm rubbing it in y'all face it's hot down here in florida it's real hot sweating and everything underarms just sticking all the above. I see y'all in Louisiana. Okay, shout out. Put your city in the chat. We may be coming through there, so make sure y'all get them tickets. Full show for y'all today, okay? They say Justin Bieber beating on that white girl. Yeah, her daddy done came out to say something, and things is about to hit the fan, and I was wondering what took so long. So we, we definitely, and you know who her daddy is. You definitely know who her father is. We're going to talk about that. Portia and Simon definitely got wine on that. Marlo Hampton, Kim and Croy, Sophie Hall, and Tyreek Hill. They're going to be discussing that. Netta and Charles, Oprah, I hear on God Caught Lying, y'all. Who lies? <laughs> who lies on they self? Oprah. Oprah. We're definitely going to be discussing the lies. She done recanted, retract, duck down, dodge, got out of town. Listen. <laughs> definitely going to be discussing that. Also going to be discussing, who else? We got a Willy Wonka scam. Uh-huh. We got a, 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 oh, and Terrence Howard. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And you know Terry Manning had a lot to say about Terrence Howard and her interview. If you, if you ain't seen that interview, you need to get up over there and watch that interview on TashaKLive.com because she spilled a lot of wine. And so we're going to be discussing Terrence Howard out here trying to scam the IRS. I haven't met anybody successful yet. If I do, I will follow pursuit. All that and more coming up here on the show. Please, guys, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We got some new content that we're unveiling on TashaKLive.com, a multi-series. Now, it's going to get thick. It's going to get ugly. And the accuser is on social media right now dragging me, okay? She thought she was going to come in my studio and drag me, too. I said, girl, I was about to. I was trying to whoop Smiley's ass. You know what I'm saying? But listen, if you want to try me, and I know you got your daughter out here, we can do this, all right? Chantel Freeman. So, yes, we did interview Chantel Freeman, the little girl that got up over there on Breakbeat Media, and in my opinion, lied. But that's up to y'all. This is just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I looked at the evidence. I heard everybody's side of the story. I'm not like Breakbeat Media or Trapping Anonymous. I like to get everybody's side, okay? And they tried to tell their side over there. They denied them, and so they came on over to my platform, and we got down to the dig of the dog, okay? We figured out who in line. Now, if you can't figure it out, that's between you and your intuition. But we got to the bottom of the lie, okay? Now. We got a sponsor of our own that we need to brag about, which means boldly raise a glass to it. Don't forget, Nature Boy was found guilty today, okay? And so remember, we covered that in depth, too. We did a multi-part doc on that, all right? Stay tuned. We'll be right back after this break. Let's go. Your daughter has accused you of the most heinous thing. She said that you f***ed her for 10 years. My body gave him a reaction that I didn't want. Mm. 
My daughter said, Dad, if you didn't do it, you need to go on the show. You need to do an interview. My father wasn't the only person that was touching me. Brandon Freeman, your sister has waged war against your dad. And you as well, too. My two older brothers was as well. You've been around for about 20 years. Mm -hmm. You've been in Chateau's life. You know her very well. She watched him beat my ass. I was raised to, if you know something's wrong, say something. You were featured on Breakbeat Media's channel and you detailed um, abuse that happened to you from age five to 15 years old. And this alleged abuse took a place by not only your mom, but your dad and your two brothers. It's very important for me to tell my story to bring awareness to the black community. 21 years old after having a baby, right? Mm -hmm. My dad is not circumcised. He has meat everywhere. Your dad goes off to the side. The police make him pull down his pants. Mm -hmm. That man is fully circumcised. Mm -hmm. How is it that you, if this man allegedly took your took your virginity, mm -hmm. you have been sucking his dick since you was five, mm -hmm. you have been in and out of his house mm -hmm. your entire childhood, how is it that you don't know the difference between what a circumcised man is and what an uncircumcised man is? Uh, when he saw that my hymen wasn't no longer attached, my father started to full gauge, have full blown sex with me. You say I was sleeping with all these women in her video, she said I had all these women, but she wasn't lying, plenty. 15, 20 at all times. So I was risking her life. So I'm sleeping with them women, then I'm running up in her room. Then why would I be asking you if you're a virgin? I don't remember when I lost my virginity. I don't know. I don't know if it was one of my brothers. I don't know if it was my dad. I don't know. So your mama's saying you lying. Your daddy's saying you lying. Your story and what, you what, not being able man, to remember. What, what man is gonna, okay, so how about this? How about this? I'm such a liar. And it's not I just a man. I would pay my, I would pay money myself to take a lot of test tests and do whatever. You do a lot of tests. I swear to God, I will. If you okay. want me to do it right now, I do it right now. Hey, I hey swear guys, to God, I will. Can we get a, a lie detector test uh, down here, please? Yeah, she, yeah, she don't talk to Clarence, and and you know. Clarence apparently gave her documentation. She told me she wanted me to do a lot of technical tests and shit like that. I didn't, I didn't, you, you, yeah. brother. What in the fuck is a carbon nation? Who wants to answer? Before there was a white man here, we existed. People calling y'all a cult. They are calling y'all brainwashed. They are calling y'all weak. They're calling you crazy, delusional. You're being raped. held against your will. You're not eating, you're malnourished. Rumors of HIV and STDs. What in the fuck is a carbon nation? Caesar, pass, quick sir. Women are electrons, we're movement. We're going to move through the, what his mind tells us to do, we're going to do that and we're gonna collectively know like, okay, check. You can become the master of your reality. And how do you get people to follow you mm -hmm. immediately? Uh, master teacher, never heard a black guy refer to himself as master teacher. And I'm thinking to myself, what warrants you to carry that title? He was ordering you to slap the girls. Bitch gonna take your place, you looking weak. I went up against Oya, I'm Oshun. I went up against Oya, and I fought, and I won that battle. So you would date a trans, a transgender? Yeah, as long as they look like the female, not the man, not the cheap ones. You know the cheap ones? <laughs> you know the cheap ones? What's shaking up in you? enjoyed shows like this and would like to see more with me live on stage then be sure to join me at naples florida march 3rd at the off the hook comedy club and march 10th in atlanta georgia at the uptown comedy corner tickets on sale right now link in the description box as well as in the bio and don't you worry i'm bringing the wine and tatty damn it okay see y'all soon <laughs> Next Wednesday, we'll be premiering that Chantel Freeman story on TashKLive.com. 
But that Carbon Nation docu-series is available right now, okay? But y'all can't watch it right now because you got to watch me because we got a whole lot of wine. We got to spill and don't forget, if you just getting up in here Sunday, we going to be at the Off The Hood Comedy Club in Naples, Florida at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go to TashaKonStage.com right now to get your tickets, okay? You better enjoy your life before they take over your brain. Come on on up in here. So somebody done beat Elon Musk to the punch. So Elon, Elon done put a chip in somebody in the front of somebody's brain that's a quadriplegic, and he say that he's able to move a mouse, okay? Well, somebody beat him to the punch because he was on, you know, Twitter, talk, well, I'm sorry, for X. Like, we're going to be X'd out here soon. X. Um, bragging about his invention when somebody said, watch this, let's go. Up, down, left, right. Everything you are watching happen on this screen right now is being controlled only with Mark's thoughts. So that just sent out a health notification. Mm -hmm. He describes it as contracting and then relaxing his brain. It takes concentration. It's a pretty involved process. It's, it's one I don't take lightly. This has all been pretty sudden for Mark. He was diagnosed with ALS in 2021. Mark has since lost control of his hands and arms. He will likely lose his voice. Mark didn't hesitate to sign up for a clinical trial to have this placed in his brain. It's called a stentrode. The one thing about this disease is it, it affects your physical, but not the mind. To me, it gives me the opportunity to be able to continue to do things that I'm able to do now just by thinking about it. It's all the brainchild of this man, Dr. Tom Oxley. The stentrode is the device that Oxley and his team at Synchron created. It's a cage of thin wired mesh with electrode sensors that can detect electrical brain activity, translate that activity, and then transmit it to devices such as a phone or a computer. It's amazing, that's all I can say. And just like a stent, it doesn't require open brain surgery. Instead, it's able to travel through the body's natural network of veins and sit in a major vein right in the middle of the brain. This is the actual deployment now. I even tried my own hand at implanting one. Keep pushing out the, stem nice and slow. the procedure is minimally invasive and you can't see the device just by looking. The stentrode is threaded up through a vessel along the neck. Right here you can feel a little cable that's actually connecting that stent to a device that now sits right underneath the skin here. And it's from there that the signals are sent out that can help him control these devices in his environment. It's a hope for patients of the future and a chance for Mark to continue living a full life now. Oh my God. Oh, 10 out of 10. Lord. Nice. You know what they finna do with this? They finna program votes. We gonna go in the booth and we gonna mean to press this one and then they're going to rewire it to make us think that we press this one. But because it's our brain and they got that little thing in our brain, we're not going to know the difference. And they try to tell us with the matrix, we ain't going to know. So it's either we're going to be in or out of the matrix. If not, we're going to be under the bridge with Kanye and them homeless woman clothes on. Better yet, we ain't even going to wear no drawers like his wife. Jesus. We're done. We're done here, guys. It's a wrap for us. I'm moving with Kanye. Who's going with me? <laughs> Think about it, though. They put this in your head. They And you telling the computer, yes, no, yes, no. So what if they rewire it on the back end? Because, you know, the servers and the data backed up to them, backed all the way up to Teddy. Teddy controlling the servers and the data center and everything. Like, that's why everybody going to school for computer science and all that data center entry and tech, you know? And... You get up to make a decision. They want to sway a vote. They just sway your arm or your brain to say Trump, not Biden. Biden, not Trump. So it's whoever hacking the computer systems. And because they putting it in your head, they put it in your head. They hit, I'm telling you, I'm living under the bridge with Bianca, Sensori, and no draws on, and Kanye. His clothes ain't but $20, so I'll be good. Moving on for now. 
and hit a lick nose. I can't even be mad. <laughs> White wine is out here hitting licks, not only in the IT field, but also on Eventbrite, okay? So apparently some people sold some tickets to some parents, and the parents got a little upset to a Willy Wonka chocolate factory experience. They said when they got there, they ain't seen nothing but some jelly beans, a couple pieces of Hershey's Kisses. They looked like art projects that was made in a third grade room. We got a video, Jasmine. Oh my God, it was horrible. They saw people like this standing up. I thought I had sent you the video. It was in there. I needed them to see this. They, uh uh, hold on, we got to pull up this video. I'm about to get it to Jasmine. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait for it. I said, now this is hit a lick. It reminds me, what y'all about to see, it reminds me of one day I had got on Facebook, right, for my son's birthday party. And you know, there you rent party stuff. And as you rent and part of stuff, they, they had a little tiny town. And they said, okay, it'd be $400 for the tiny town. So I was like, oh my God, that is so cute. Like they had a little train, they had balls, they had tents. And you know, they had the little worms that you crawl through. You can get the video, Jasmine. Okay, good. She pulling up the video. Hold that thought. So I'm just telling y'all my story. So I'm like, oh my God, you're going to come through. So when they came through, it took three people to put on the ground daycare furniture. The picture looked nothing like what was put on Facebook. So I get there, they got one of them little, what do you call them, uh, them little slide? It was a little baby slide. Uh, oh, here we go, we got the video. Hold on for a second, Jasmine. Wait a minute, Jasmine, we got the, okay. We got the baby slide, they got a few balls, they got one house that the kids is fighting over, and then they got one of them inflatable worms that you can get from five and below. $400 they got me. Just like they got these people here. Jasmine, go ahead and roll up. Willie Walker Chocolate Factory. Go ahead. <laughs> well, damn, Jasmine. We're supposed to, when I say go ahead, Jasmine, you're supposed to go ahead. Where is it? Hold on for a second, y'all. I didn't download. Give us a second, y'all. I be working on the fly. Should she have had the video early? She know I be wanting a video. I don't be liking to talk too much, even though I talk a lot. But just hold on right there. We're going to get that. But, yeah, they got me real good. Now, apparently these people called the police on these people here for selling them Eventbrite tickets and everything, and they said it was a chocolate nightmare. Now, the organizers <laughs> shut down after the parents and the children complained. I wouldn't have showed up, but I get it. They wanted to get in what they paid for. And when you buy something off Eventbrite and you don't ask questions on Facebook, that's what you get. Jasmine, we ready? We got An event video. claiming to be a children's Willy Wonka experience is going viral for how much of a disaster it turned out to be. Residents of Glasgow and beyond were intrigued when colorful advertisements for a Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory experience began popping up. Many bought tickets after seeing that the event promised live performances from Oompa Loompas, a chocolate fountain, and a quote, visual feast in every room. In reality, families pulled up to a nearly empty warehouse where instead of a chocolate fountain, children received a handful of jelly beans and a cup of lemonade. The event organizer, House of Illuminati, allegedly used AI to create promotional images that did not actually reflect what the event looked like. Now, the actor hired to play Willy Wonka at the event is speaking out, saying that there were a few red flags from the beginning. So the first red flag for me was when I was cast as Willy Wonka. Um, Anyone who looks at me and thinks Willy Wonka and not Umpa Lumpa is out of their mind. The script was 15 pages, monologue, pretty much, of AI-generated gibberish. We were told on the uh, experience to hand out a jelly bean, one jelly bean uh, per child. Um, you said one jelly bean per child? a quarter <laughs> of a cup of Tesco's own brand lemonade. <laughs> One jelly bean per child, listen. <laughs> $40 a head. <laughs> and they only shut down because they got complaint, but you ain't getting your money back. I had to buy them jelly beans, and I had to split them between y'all. One jelly bean, one Hershey kiss, one candy cane. You take a picture in front of that Raider Bowl they done made in their art class. There we go. And who is that bitch up there? What's she doing? She making the candy. 
I love my white people. I do. Hey, I can't even hate them. We, we got to get creative ways to make money. And AI, AI has made it easier. Yes, it has. Hit the wine glass. Okay, moving on. Who we got? <sighs> now, hold on for a second. The Kellogg CEO says that poor people should eat cereal for dinner. He says, why struggle when you can eat our cheap cereal for dinner? I said, newsflash, we've been eating that shit. <laughs> you late. Now, if you've seen a decrease in your cereal sales, it's partly due to that article that came out that said that y'all was using a preservative that was used in gasoline or jet engine fuel to preserve the cereal that we eat in our, you know, at dinner for breakfast, for lunch, for snack. I used to eat it dry because I don't drink milk. So it was not diluted, washed off like vegetables. I consumed whatever chemical it was to preserve that cereal for life. Okay, they said all oh, come from the center of the earth. It's been there for a billion plus years. Whatever it is that's holding that all together, put it in the cereal. So they said poor people. Now, you know we was talking about black and brown people now. You know, and then we got the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, the uh, eight mile people. <laughs> you know what I mean. The eight mile people. I said, we been eating that. I, I don't get it. Now, he's probably seen a, a, probably a decrease in sales when it comes to cereal because cereal done got high, okay? Real high. Oatmeal used to be a dollar a box. It's $6 a box. Then they talk about it's organic and it's giving me the shits. No. <laughs> Not at all. Now, if it's anything like what my mama used to do, because she had kids that ate cereal, fish sticks, and chicken nuggets all damn day, okay, and peanut butter and jelly, she bought them wide. Hold on for a second. She bought them wide bags of cereal, the ones you had to throw over your shoulder like potatoes. That's what we ate. We used to bust the bag down the middle. We'll be done with that bag in like three days. A box of Kellogg's, man, that's one, that's one eating. And for $7 a box, sir, no thank you. We're good over here. Drop them prices. We make him work out something. But with the rise in cancer and all this stuff that y'all got going on and, 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 and that article that came out to hit to say that y'all been poisoning people, sir, uh-uh. Poor people are done being poisoned, okay? We're done. Damn. It's how she's drinking fluoride water. Yep, right. Mm. Purify. It's even worse. <sighs> Yaki say we shouldn't drink no water. He say we should chew water. Shout out to Yaki Awaken. Take him down. I need to bring Yaki back on the show. Now, he had me trying that, because we did post Yaki clip. I ain't got his clip up here now, but you probably seen that clip. That clip got a million views. Yaki said, we are not supposed to drink water. We are supposed to chew water. And let me tell you what my crazy ass did. I hit the reefer. I said, let me, let me, maybe he right. Because I do get bloated when I drink water all the time. I stay drinking water. So I said, let me try something, man. I Yaki on them shrooms. Y'all got to forgive him sometime. <laughs> he probably hit them shrooms and said, they told me the water came to me and told me, dog, I was supposed to chew it, not suck it. <laughs> and I'm a man, I ain't sucking nothing. <laughs> Moving on. All right, viewer discretion is advised. Trigger warning. If you eating, I'm sorry. A lot of y'all probably right now down at Boston Market or Golden Corral enjoying a steak right now, okay? Or some steakums. When they started serving steak in the damn dollar uh, uh, tree, I knew it was a problem. We're done. <laughs> now, nah. and I was trying to figure out what part of the steak are they serving for a dollar? I'll show you in a minute. 
The U.S. Attorney General has decided to wage a huge lawsuit against the beef industry, okay? She said they are contributing heavily to uh, the pollution of the earth, and they are wiping down the Amazon rainforest and everything to produce beef. They lying about their emissions and everything, even though we've been lying about emissions on cars all the time. All you got to do is pay the guy an extra 20 on top of the 20 that the emissions test costs, especially in Georgia, he'll pass it. Mission test ain't nothing but twenty dollars, okay? And so I give him another twenty. You know my, you know I, I don't get oil changes like that. I'm sorry, sir, and I can barely afford to take this to the. Uh, so I'm gonna give you this. And the Africans, usually Nigerians, they take it. Now, uh, <laughs> may any hit the holler. So the Attorney General says she's tired. She's tired. And you know she decided to wage a huge lawsuit against them after. You know, the FDA already approved that they can cut down trees and use the land to farm cattle to serve us this here. But they just cut it out. Viewer discretion is advised. Rewind it back just a little bit. So go back just a little bit, Jasmine. Go back. Go, go all the way back. So what you're seeing here is beef. That's why I stopped eating this shit, for real, okay? Now, in the beef, just like our body, now just work with me for a second. Before I play this whole thing, some of y'all may have seen this, but if not, I'm going to remind you. Imagine eating beef, raw flesh, and it's got cyst balls, herpes bumps, and things like that, and they pus filled. Imagine eating pussy or sucking dick. And pus come out. But instead of you, you know what I'm saying, stopping to suck and just saying, I'm, I, I, I no longer belong here, you decide to wipe it off and move it to the side and keep sucking and keep eating said pus-filled vagina and dick. That's what you're doing when you eat this beef. Let's go. Y'all watch Dr. Pimple Popper? I was online yesterday watching a hell of a, a, a roll of them popping cows, cysts in their ass and their ribs, on their face, on their stomach, and on that round that y'all eat. You know how they say, bottom round, you eat the ass of the cow. They had a big ball. Imagine eating somebody's ass from the back like that, and they got a ball back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jasmine, don't be turning up your face like that. No, no, I'm here to, I'm here to educate my people. Stop all this, okay? Jasmine, no. I don't be playing this mess here, but this is exactly what they be doing. If you don't believe me, you can go see the live cow getting cis busted like this. And they just clean it out at Publix and sell you the other part, throw some, some old pig blood on top of the beef and serve it to you, and you wander around here, you got gross coming out your cheek. It's because that cow had that same growth on its cheek. But that's what she need to sue for. Forget them messing up the land. Y'all done passed that. They ain't paying enough taxes for it. They ain't even doing it here in the U.S. And now you just trying to figure out a way to get some money because them people done moved over there to South uh, uh, America, tearing up that land there, and you can't do nothing about it. This what needs to be sued for. Now, real quick, before we get into our official celebrity gossip, okay, and we moved on for our, from our severe yang yang news, we got some sponsors that we need to brag about, things that's coming up on TashaKLive.com, tickets that we need to sell to our uh, Sunday show in Naples, Florida, Southwest Florida, Floyd Myers, Tampa. Y'all come on down to the Off the Hood Comedy Club. We're going to be there at 8.30 this Sunday, Eastern Standard Time, okay? Tickets ain't nothing but $20. We got some sponsors that we need to brag about, which means Bowley Razor Glass 2 will be right back after the break with some Justin Bieber, Portia and Simon, who has Netta and Charles, Oprah Lyon out here, and Terrence Howard. We'll be right back. Sorry, y'all, about that beef, but I had to tell you. Go. Your daughter has accused you of the most heinous thing. She said that you f***ed her for 10 years. 
my body gave him a reaction that I didn't want. Mm. My daughter said, Dad, if you didn't do it, you need to go on the show, you need to do an interview. My father wasn't the only person that was touching me. Brandon Freeman, your sister has waged war against your dad. And you as well too. My two older brothers was as well. You've been around for about 20 years. Mm -hmm. You've been in Chateau's life. You know her very well. She watched him beat my ass. I was raised to, if you know something's wrong, say something. You were featured on Breakbeat Media's channel and you detailed um, abuse that happened to you from age five to 15 years old. And this alleged abuse took a place by not only your mom, but your dad and your two brothers. It's very important for me to tell my story to bring awareness to the black community. 21 years old after having a baby, right? Mm -hmm. My dad is not circumcised. He has meat everywhere. Your dad goes off to the side. The police make him pull down his pants. Mm -hmm. That man is fully circumcised. Mm -hmm. How is it that you, if this man allegedly took your took your virginity, mm -hmm. you have been sucking his dick since you was five, mm -hmm. you have been in and out of his house mm -hmm. your entire childhood, how is it that you don't know the difference between what a circumcised man is and what an uncircumcised man is? Uh, when he saw that my hymen wasn't no longer attached, my father started to full gauge, have full blown sex with me. You say I was sleeping with all these women in her video, she said I had all these women, but she wasn't lying, plenty. 15, 20 at all times. So I was risking her life. So I'm sleeping with the women, then I'm running up in her room. Then why would I be asking you if you're a virgin? I don't remember when I lost my virginity. I don't know. I don't know if it was one of my brothers. I don't know if it was my dad. I don't know. So your mama's saying you lying. Your daddy's saying you lying. Your story and what, you what, not being able man, to remember. What, what man is gonna, okay, so how about this? How about this? I'm such a liar. And it's not I just a man. I will pay my. I will pay money myself to take a lot of test tests and do whatever. You do a lot of tests. I swear to God, I will. If you okay. want me to do it right now, I do it right now. Hey, I hey swear guys, to God, I will. Can we get a, a lie detector test uh, down here, please? Yeah, she. Yeah, she don't talk to Clarence, and and you know. Clarence apparently gave her documentation. She told me she wanted me to do a lot of technical tests and shit like that. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, you, you, yeah. What in the fuck is a carbon nation? Who wants to answer? Before there was a white man here, we existed. People calling y'all a cult. They are calling y'all brainwashed. They are calling y'all weak. They're calling you crazy, delusional. You're being right. held against your will. You're not eating, you're malnourished. Rumors of HIV and STDs. What in the fuck is a carbon nation? Caesar has returned. Women are electrons, we're movement. We're going to move through the, what his mind tells us to do, we're going to do that and we're gonna collectively know like, okay, check. You can become the master of your reality. And how do you get people to follow you mm -hmm. immediately? Um, master teacher, never heard a black guy refer to himself as master teacher. And I'm thinking to myself, what warrants you to carry that title? He was ordering you to slap the girls. Bitch gonna take your place, you looking weak. I went up against Oya, I'm Oshun. I went up against Oya, and I fought, and I won that battle. So you would date a trans, a transgender? Yeah, as long as they look like the female, not the man, not the cheap ones. You know the cheap ones? <laughs> you know the cheap ones? When it's shaking up in you. enjoyed shows like this and would like to see more with me live on stage then be sure to join me in naples florida march 3rd at the off the hook comedy club and march 10th in atlanta georgia at the uptown comedy corner tickets on sale right now link in the description box as well as in the bio and don't you worry i'm bringing the wine and teddy damn it okay see y'all soon <laughs> and we back make sure y'all get them tickets we got two days left before we pulling up in Naples, okay? Remember, TashaKOnStage.com. We got tickets left. They started at $20. I cannot wait to wine, gossip, and laugh with y'all, all right? So I can't wait to see. I'm so excited to be in the stage. Me in my belly. Yes, I am. So because y'all been talking mess, 
I decide to take you up on your advice and finally do sit-ups. That's one thing that I hate is sit-ups. But I found time to finally do them. I work here. I work my legs. I work my butt. But I do not work my stomach. But because y'all keep saying that I'm pregnant to the point where you even got my husband thinking that I got a nigga that's got me pregnant because he knew that, y'all going to leave me alone. I'm sick and tired and sick and tired. So, yes, I'm doing sit-ups while I'm watching and researching stories for y'all. And they hurt, too. I ain't got no type of core stability. That's why I set out like this. That was like, oh, you been doing sit-ups? Yes. Tired of y'all. Ba baby in here. In that case, I'm going to push him out. <laughs> All right, let's go on and get started. Just. Now, the, the daddy, the, the, the daughter daddy done spilled some wine, okay? Some wine, some gossip. Now, I knew it was only a matter of time before this came. Now, Halle Baby Bieber, is it Haley, Haley Bieber? Okay, Haley, I'm the Halle Bailey, you know. Ha Haley Bieber is unhappy, upset, angry that her daddy, Stephen Baldwin, put her business out on social media. It was only a matter of time. I knew it was coming two years ago, and I'm going to show you why in a minute. Now, he asked for a prayer request for the couple. Okay? Well, let me go on and read it. Now, she's not happy, according to Sandra Rose, that her dad, Stephen Baldwin, publicly asked for prayers for her and her husband, Justin Bieber. Now, he recently asked the public for prayers for Haley and Justin, but he didn't elaborate on what was the reason. Okay? Now, he quickly, on October, uh, February 20, uh, 26, the 57-year-old shared a now-deleted Instagram post, which means it was a post and delete. Post and delete. But he meant what he said. Okay? Asking prayers for his daughter and son-in-law, Baldwin. Okay? Reposted an Instagram reel from Victor Marks, the founder of All Things Possible Ministries, who wrote over a clip of Justin singing and playing a, a guitar. Christians! He said, please, when you think of Justin and Haley, take a moment to offer a little prayer for them to have wisdom, protection, and to draw closer to the Lord. Now, I already thought that Justin Bieber had a personal uh, uh, preacher because he was in the pool with him, hugged up. We ain't gonna put that video out here, okay? But that that's true, that's true why right there. I said, what is he doing in the pool playing with pool toys in this pastor? What are you doing in that pool? You a grown man. He said he was saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost and chlorine water from dipping down under the pool, doing things that he shouldn't, but he said it was a baptism. I said, okay. Now, soon after that, he married Haley. Something went wrong with him. As soon as he married Haley, his face started getting stuck. He started getting uh, paralysis of the face. And a lot of things was happening. And something else happened, too. And that's why I ain't surprised that her daddy is trying to come out here to say, pray for them before I have to whoop his. Go ahead and play it. Hey, good morning. What up, Jay? What's up, Justin? Good morning, Justin. Rewind it back now. now that, that's a black. I know that's a black fight right there. Justin got out the car. This happened two years ago. Then right after they got married, I said, "Wow, this is some newlywed. This is some honeymoon top." And here, why is he slamming the car? Though he could have slammed her finger or her foot. Go, Justin. Hey, hey, what up, Jay? What's up, Justin? Good morning, Justin. Hey Haley, how are you? This way. Justin? Give us some space, guys. Cool. Let him breathe. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. What up, Jay? What's up, Justin? Good morning, Justin. This way, hey Haley, how are you? This way. Justin? I need to comment up for this. Now, we're not saying that it's abusive, but it looked like it could be some abusive stuff going on. Okay? Now, like I said, this was right after 
they got married. But for the daddy to upload sharing scriptures and stuff, and he, you know, they a celebrity couple. You said they always fight. I'm just trying to figure it out. It's only a matter of time before somebody, hopefully one day she could get a lick in when his face frozen. You know, he got that shit when his face be freezing and stuff. That'll be the perfect time to whoop his ass. I would. He slamming no door on me. Look like she going through. He over emotional. No, let them pastors play with him everywhere. <laughs> take his money. Imagine, you're a superstar. The pastor's taking your money and your last booty. Man, 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 man. That's horrible. That's some gangsters right there. Them some gangster disciples. But yeah, there's plenty of videos like that. But that one right there just kind of stuck out. That's equivalent to Ray J pushing Princess in the pool. We forgot to add that story. Maybe it's, in, it's on TashKLive.com. We're going to talk about that on TashKLive.com tonight, okay? And we got Diddy, Diddy's accusers, more stuff coming, okay? Don't forget, right after this, we are going to TashKLive.com for the second part of the show. And don't forget to get your tickets. We are in Naples, Florida this Sunday, uh, March 3rd at the Off the Hook Comedy Club, okay? Tash K on stage. So y'all think he beating them? It ain't funny, but do you think he beating them? Because, you know, they say he was he was mad, you know, when Drake hit him. They say everybody had hit him. And so since everybody hit her in Hollywood, he decided he hit her too, allegedly. Let me see the comments. What y'all think? Huh? What y'all think? Yes, it's old footage. But for the daddy to come out here and say, pray for him. Somebody getting their ass whooped. Moving on. They said, yes, she getting her ass whooped. I mean, everybody else said, hit it. Why not? Why he can't get his lick at? That's what he said. That's what he told her when he hit her. Didn't Drake hit you? You liked it when he was pulling your hair from the back? Why can't I do it? Moving on. They done switch roles. Look at them. Now, I know a lot of people think I don't like them. I really, I'm laughing at them. Not with them, at them. I'm just honest. See, y'all like to play in people's face and stuff and lie to them and try to act like you ain't laughing at them. You really think, oh, they funny. They this. And she had the nerve. First of all, we, netta, 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 netta. Netta posted me. It said, I was pregnant. Now, newsflash, man, at least I can get pregnant. That part. Now, I didn't wear these tights today, but since I got on black tights, and this man over here got on black tights, who looked pregnant? Go, put up the comments. Who look pregnant? Brett, nah. It look like she about to deliver shit. Cause that's what's backed up in there. That ain't fat. Shit. Who we going for? It's okay to do a squat, just like it's okay for me to do a sit up. It's okay, it's okay, Netta. Netta, just. I mean, you, come on, Netta. Ain't no beef. I don't eat beef. I eat fish. But I'm just saying, for her to post me, tell my, oh, did Tasha forget to wear her Spanx or her girdle today? Or is she pregnant? Well, what are you? Why is your stomach hiding your dick and you know that Charles need that? Tell me how is he supposed, what does he do? Lift it up and proceed. And I know if you got balls like that on your face, because you got that one pop right there, I know you got balls hidden under the cracks and crevices of that gut there. I, 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 yeah, it's raw under there. Scabbed, scabbed. Don't play with me. 
Don't play with me at all, okay? And Charles got on makeup to my, oh, he had a chemical pill, uh, so he didn't want his face peeling. Newsflash, you ain't supposed to put makeup over no chemical pill. I was over here peeling myself. You know what I love about being a real woman is that I can get up, I ain't got to do nothing. I can let my face peel before y'all. I can let my black hair show, and at the end of the day, I'm still a woman. I ain't got to put on no makeup to prove that I'm a woman. But you're trying to be a woman for a man that only wants you, but now it's a woman because Charles done turned into a whole stud. That's right, Jasmine says, Charlene. But since we going stomach for stomach, little, somebody clip that, and I need that trending on, on Facebook. Since Netta wanna come for my stomach, let's go stomach for stomach. Cause Shaq ain't gotta pick up this stomach to look nothing. And I know, like I said, it's all sweat, hair bumps down there. One's bigger than on your face, looking like that, that glue. Go ahead, put that beef picture back up. Where is that? That, that, that's what's busting down there. That's coming out of another face on a, on a, on the, on the uh, uh, what do you call it? It's not a pelvic area because she ain't got no pelvic bone. What they call that? What they call that for the man? Jasmine, come on now. No, that's what they squeeze and got out of your face. Moving on. Now, they don't call Oprah out here lying real bad. And I knew she was lying. Oprah ain't never been, she was skinny one time, and that was when she had met Stephan. Or Stephan, what that, that guy named that? Stedman. You know, when you meet a new man, it's like, oh my God, even though he met me fat, I just, it's a lot of competition. I hear them Oprah, and she got real skinny, and her head was big. Same thing now, she real skinny, and her head was big, okay? Oprah came out here talking about she stopped eating after 4 o'clock every day. She stopped sucking dick years ago. The eat pussy, so it's a little lighter in calories. She, uh, hikes every day, okay? But right now she can't hike because you slide down the mountains in California, okay? And in Hawaii as well. And she ain't never used no drugs. Drugs are bad. Drugs are bad. She ain't used no old Zaping, no we go, we, we didn't go nowhere. That's what she said. No, we go, we, we didn't go nowhere. Well, Weight Watchers decided to make her do a piss test. And all I knew is that she came back saying that she's about to resign and leave the board of Weight Watchers and that, you know what? Um, let me tell you what she said. Hold on, let me pull it up. Her words, not mine, okay? Now, I said, Oprah, I knew it was only about the time they came back weeks ahead of time. And you expect, Oprah, they been out here to See, now you giving Monique validity. If you gonna lie about something like this, we knew you were 70. Your metabolism stopped a long time ago. Hold on, let me pull up this. With this quote on what she said. I said, how's she just going to get on TV and just lie like that? Now, she sits on the board for Weight Watchers. Okay? I ain't seen Oprah lose a pound since they've been watching her weight. But she got her shares every month where she convinced us, does it look smaller the same way I'm doing with my stomach? It look like I'm doing put sit-ups? No. But listen... <laughs> She decides to depart from Weight Watchers after admitting Ozempic use, okay? So she's leaving the board of Weight Watchers after admitting that she used Ozempic to lose weight. We already knew that. Now, according to Deadline.com, Winfrey is leaving Weight Watchers and donating her stock. Now, you know it's bad if she's going to give it away. And donating her stock to avoid any potential conflict of interest over her use of weight loss drugs. Okay. Now, the entertainment mogul was on the board of Weight Watchers for nearly 10 years and didn't lose not one, two, or three pounds. Now, Winfrey, at 70 years old, informed the company of her decision that she will not be up for re-election at the annual meeting of shareholders in May 2024, but she will collect her check. Now, <laughs> I look forward to continuing to advise and collaborate with Weight Watchers and the CEO of SEMA, uh, says Tana, and elevating the conversation around recognizing obesity as a chronic condition. So all them lies she done told y'all, them points she had y'all buying them bag foods with all them, them processed and, and, and things in there. You know, you got stir-fried broccoli and everything, thought you was going to lose weight because it was a point system. No. It was all lies. 
and her departing is going to shoot their stock down. That's why she's just giving it away. Now she says, Winfrey added she will continue working to reduce stigma and advocating for health equity. Winfrey is donating her stock in Weight Watchers to the National Museum of African American History and Culture. Now how is a museum going to lose weight? They worthless. Now, as of January 1st, Winfrey's 1.13 million shares were worth 6.3 million, according to LSG. She decided to join on Ozempic stock. Okay? Plummeted Weight Watchers, and they finna sue her. Watch what I tell you. It's coming. <laughs> Y'all gonna be like, Tasha! Because she lied. You lied, and then you was out here saying that you was using it. And then you Oprah. You, oh, you can't come back and say, well, yeah, I took it, so? <laughs> you can't come back and do that, and then they stop, drop. Six million to one million? Because you lie, they finna come for her. They, I'm telling you, they finna come for her. Mm -hmm. Now here, Oprah is using those same thing. That's like Beyonce <sighs> eating ass. Everybody gonna do it. Everybody gonna do it. Moving on. I, but I told y'all though, y'all didn't believe me. I said I was hating. I was like, oh, why? I got to hate on her for. Why would I wanna hate on her? I know when those ain't body when I see one, keep playing with me and calling me pregnant, you gonna see my head bobbling too, bitch. <laughs> Be around here looking like Tia Kemp, keep playing. <laughs> Moving on. Big T, big head, skinny hair, well, leg. All right. Ooh. Now, this is funny. Mm -hmm. So, Sophie Hall is dating Tyreek Hill, okay? Now, he a football player. I think he played for the Miami Dolphins, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Now, she is suing him for breaking her leg after they were running drills, according to her, in their mansion. Well, in his mansion. And so, while they were running drills, that she voluntarily wanted to run with him, he broke her leg, and I believe they still living together and together, and so she's suing him for damages. And I just need y'all to, to see if y'all see what I see. Pause. Now, go back just a little bit. Sophie said he broke her leg running drills. Sophie set up the camera. Put up, got up two crutches. She got two Crocs on. She got a full bodysuit that she got to bend over and put on and take off when she used the bathroom. And I'm trying to figure out if your leg broke, where's the cast? Put them in the comments. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Where's the cast? Now, she just done decided to go down to CVS to get a couple of crutches to say <laughs> that her leg is broken, and I just think she got a little joint pain because of that oversized BBL. You know ain't no white girl shaped like that. Stop lying. <laughs> you done took all your lymphedema fat, put it in your ass, he probably done knocked you over, and because your shit off balance from trying to carry that around, your ankles hurt. But she got on Crocs, two shoes, because I thought when you got a cast on, you don't wear no shoe if your leg broke. Where the leg broke at? Talking about she thick, though. Y'all just nasty. Y'all don't even care if her leg broke. This man, this man got to fight a frivolous lawsuit with a woman that lived with him, and he know her damn leg ain't broke. Just look broke to you. Go ahead. Walk around. Go. 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 This, this, uh, this is not the protocol. Unless she diagnosed herself. Look at her. What'd she say, Jasmine? But she just, she got her foot just, she got it just elevated just a little bit. The cast is supposed to keep the leg stable so that she don't fall forward and we break it. Play that shit one more time. 
I'm wondering if she's going to take this video to court. Look at. Instead of people slipping and falling when they wait, when you're going to Walmart or uh, McDonald's, they slipping and falling in their own house. Bitch, I'm out. I'm going to do that to Shake. I'm about to sue Shake. Look at, look at that. I'm going to sue his ass. He broke, my, he broke my damn leg. How? He put it up too high. I feel sorry for this young man, but hey, the white women wrote these laws here, okay? Moving on. Now, I am really shocked, okay, in Real Housewives of Atlanta Wine, that out of all the people that they picked, because they even got Ming Lee on the show. Okay. Yeah, we got Porsche. They said they ain't captured none of the Porsche wine. Okay. Um, out of all the times they don't call the police on each other, the house about to go, why is Kim not on the show? I need y'all to tell me, because I'm confused right now. Is Andy done with white women? What is going I know these white women out here saying he doing coca Laca and skiing with them and, and, and trying to do threesomes with them, but I'm trying to figure out why is she not on the show? They going broke? Her daughter pregnant? She called the police on him? Saying he beating her ass, locking her out of the room? She selling her shit on damn offer up? Why? They need her. They need the money. This, this is what we want to see. How are they able to sell the house and, and, or lose the house and save it every week? Where are they getting the money from? I know her wigs and purses ain't that much. And anybody lose a house in Georgia, you know you broke. Because even the squatters own 1,800 houses. Shit. I just saw two squatters finally get indicted after years of owning other people's houses by simply just moving in when they go on vacation. <laughs> Sorry you was gone for 30 days, I live here now. And they can't keep an $800,000 house in Georgia? Then we got Marlo, after 11 seasons, she's now departing. She departing because just like Candy won't let us into that, that damn dungeon of hers, Marlo, you ain't let us into the nursing home or who you sleeping with. I just, that's what we want to see. You done made a career off of dragging everybody and raising other people's kids. We don't know about them children. But yeah, you won't tell us who the, who the lift is for going up your steps. What old white man is going up there? Tell me, I'm, I'm, I'm going to focus on other things. What, continuously? Allegedly tricking? What? Nah, Portia and Simon. He on social media trying to get his wife back. He bribing her and everything. She saying, uh-uh, I'm keeping my assets. You keeping your assets. And I'm going to tell you something. I had a little birdie put something in my ear. And I'm inclined to believe it. You know, I try to give people the benefit of the doubt. But they said Portia set this up herself. They said the reason Bravo ain't catching none of it is because Portia allegedly planned all of this herself. And she did it to enforce the prenup. That's why she ain't thinking about nothing because she's been thinking about leaving ever since she found out everything that we've been found out and how he was burning up Fallon credit and other wives credit and using all types of names and everything like that. So she decided to get her check and she was the one that leaked them court docs and he online right now trying to get her back. But she said, shit, them probably in my name. Go ahead. Look at, look at them. Oh, oh. Something is coming. Something is coming. He advertising. Can they hear me? He 
He advertising for the next gold digger hole. Yep, that's exactly what he doing. Uh -huh. All the cars he down there on Pace's Ferry in Georgia. Five million dollar house built from the ground up. Ha! Ain't no telling who, who, was what where was the loan missing. came from. This was what was missing. But apparently, she knew no, about the totally. lawsuit for the private jet. Shout out to Tisa Tail for putting that out. She knew about all the other things, and so that's the reason why she decided to return the housewives, because she knew that they was going to be suing both of them because she's the wife. And when you're sued in Georgia, you can possibly go after the spouse as well, too. <laughs> what you laughing at? <laughs> Y'all say a portion of the Guardian like Wendy Williams. I'm done. <laughs> but. My sources ain't never been wrong. And they said that Portia just is trying to get in, get in front of this. She's trying to put it out there. She knew the lawsuits was coming. They been served. She done figured out the whole scam and how he, you know, just changes his name and reappeals the, the, the citizenship, loses it again, takes out all these bogus loans, and they was going to come after her. And so she got, she went down there and said, Andy, listen, I need my job back. I really, I can bring you a story. I really can. Just, just trust me on this. I got some for you. But she had to make it look good in order to enforce that prenup. We know it's gonna come out. It's gonna come out the same way that uh, Phaedra helped her, you know, her and her husband, and she took the fall for him. Same thing. I, I, I said this is just too coincidental. Too coincidental how you just are just done. I thought you loved him. I thought he was the love of your life. You just bought him a new ring. Didn't she just give him a new wedding ring? He was like, oh, another ring. He wasn't even happy. He was like, because I'm trying to figure out, you put this on my account, and I got this on somebody else's account because I done scammed. Moving on. Terrence Howard, hard out here for a pimp when you're trying to get this money for the rent. Now, apparently Terrence Howard was just ordered by the Department of Justice to pay over $1 million in back taxes, okay? Now, let me pull up the article because I want to make sure we get the specifics right, okay? Now, 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 now. Now, I'm going to tell you what he did. I'm going to tell you what he did, okay? Because somebody tried to do it to me, okay? Now, order to pay 900 k in back taxes after saying it's immoral for the U.S. government to tax descendants of slaves. Now, while that may be true, <laughs> however, they said not today. Okay, now, hold on. So, according, oh, damn it, hold on for a second, y'all. I don't know why my article won't pull up. My phone's is freezing, and I ain't got AT&T. Give me a second, Jasmine. You know I can't see that far. They can wait just a second. Don't forget to get them tickets now. Okay? Now, he was ordered to pay almost one million in back taxes after saying, uh, after saying immoral. It's immoral to tax slave descendants, okay? Now, 400 years of forced labor and never receiving any compensation for it, Howard reportedly told the case's lead tax attorney, okay? Now, he reportedly said it's immoral for the United States government to charge taxes to the descendants of slaves after being ordered to pay nearly $1 million in back taxes. Now, according to a report from the Philadelphia Inquirer on Thursday, a federal judge in Philadelphia ordered the Academy Award nominated actor to pay $900,115 in back taxes and they want all of it plus penalties and interest. For more than a year, the 54-year-old star of the TV hit Empire, whose last listed address was in Plymouth meeting, rebuffed the IRS efforts to collect $578,000 in income taxes and said he failed to pay between 20, 2010 and 2019. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Okay? 
Now, the inquiry reported that the Justice Department sued Howard in 2022, and after failed efforts to engage Howard in court, the actor sent a voicemail to the phone of the case's lead tax attorney in November 2023, per the court filings, and Howard repeatedly denied over anything and threatened to shame her by posting a lawsuit against him on the internet. Now, for 400 years of forced labor and never receiving any compensation for it, the actor allegedly said in a voicemail, now you have the gal to try to persecute and charge taxes to the descendants of broken people that you are responsible for causing the breakage. Now, he went on further slamming the government for taking him to court. In truth, the entire United States should, by default, become the property of the descendants of slaves. Howard said, but since you do not have the ability or the courage to do it, let's try this in court. We're going to bring you down. Now, he's known for hit movies like Crash, Hustle and Flow, and formally responded to the lawsuit and is facing a default judgment per the request, and they will uh, try to lock his ass up. Now, let me tell you what, what he did. Okay, so just like how the Indians have a tax break, if you can prove <laughs> that you, you know, you can get that that uh, that set aside as an Indian, might as well. Now, a lot of black people too are descendants of Indians and slaves, and it depends on your percentage on what it is. But let me tell you this: this go a little deeper. The Moors. Now, I know y'all gonna be the conscious community in the chat. Times you don't know what you're talking about. I do it all the time because they try to get me and put me put me in jail. They was like, hey. You don't have to pay that $4 million. I said, really? They were emailing me all the time. I said, what you mean? You ain't got to pay taxes either. And if you take the $100 bill, you're going to see those numbers lead to a bank account. And it's got billions of dollars in it. And you can access that. And you ain't never got to pay bills again. You ain't got to file taxes. All you got to do is denounce your U.S. citizenship, become a descendant of the Moors of the Indians, okay? Say that your address is in the ocean because the government don't own the ocean 12 miles outside of the shore. True, it's international waters. And so when they try to charge you with a lawsuit uh, and celebrity try to come after you and they try to come collect, you can say, bitch, I don't live here. I said, for real? And true story, I'm going to give y'all some wine. I promise you, this is not allegedly. R. Kelly was in the process of doing that when they were brought down charges with him. So him and Don Russell and the mom, because I met with them when I went down there to sit down with um, Kara Kelly. And uh, we're going to leave Terrence Howard up here, seriously. So when I was in the white dress and I went down there to interview Kara Kelly, he had said that everything that he had said on my show for years was a lie. He had never seen his brother, you know what I'm saying, with no underage gals or nothing like that. It was all lies. It was lies. I said, oh, okay, cool. So I'm talking to Don Russell, the manager who was convicted, okay, of sending threats and intimidating witnesses and stuff to not testify and, and work with the feds against R. Kelly and stuff like that. And so he was in the process of denouncing his citizenship status. They said it's a whole process, okay? You ain't got to pay taxes. You can get this free money by accessing this bank account. And, and I don't know how you're supposed to wire that money from that, that bank account into your account. I need to stop being stupid and just try it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never tried. I was like, this sounds too good to be true, okay? Become a, a property of the water, okay? That's why they call it a bank. You know, when you go to the bank and money's in a bank because the governments don't own the bank. The banks are owned by the water. It's a lot of stuff, right? And for that, since the Indians ain't got to pay taxes, if we have an ounce of Indian blood, we shouldn't have to pay taxes. And true, as African Americans and descendants of slaves, we shouldn't have to pay for nothing. We should have a set aside. It ain't but, we ain't but 2% of the population in the United States. I don't see why they won't give us a tax break when they give us food stamps and welfare every month. I just don't get it. Okay, but anyway, I'm not a politician. I'm just a taxpayer to the welfare system. Now, and to illegal, illegal immigrants flood New York and to the wars across the street. That's where my money go. Now, R. Kelly, you put him in there. You got this picture? Okay. R. Kelly was listening to Don Russell's mom from jail, 
and Don Russell, and they were in the process of denouncing their U.S. citizenship so that they could come become a property of the water and of the Moor tribe so that they are, uh, what do you call that, um, what's the word I'm looking for, immune from being legally tried for any crime. Now, of course, we know that didn't work. I said, I don't know how he going to get his paperwork done, and he's still in court right now complaining that he didn't get no judgments or lawsuits because he can't read or see them. But this is what Taz Howard is attempting to do, and my thing is, you don't want to pay taxes, move to Dubai. Move to Dubai. Breathe in sand for the rest of your life. You look just like one of them, just tie the scarf around your head. You are tax-free, buddy. Now, you can't get up over there smoking no reef or nothing like that on them folks' land because they will put you under the sand. But for the most part, that's why a lot of black people moving over there anyway. That's why they got housewives over there. You know, you're right next to the coast of Africa and stuff like that. They ain't paying no taxes. Tax-free over there. All your money. Keep it. Bring it to us and let us get richer. Because you're going to spend it anyway in the city. What does it matter? We charge the business owners that here, taxes. We just want your money. So we know you're going to spend it. But yeah, that, that is some true wine right there. So I saw the paperwork. They was actually trying to, it was like, you know, you can avoid that lawsuit. You ain't got to pay it. Just let me do now. So I said, I need my passport, sir. I don't know. Give me my passport. The hell? Denouncing U.S. Citizen, where I'm going to go? Where I'm going to go? To jail. <sighs> Thank y'all so much for watching. We are about to head over to TashaKLive.com right now for the second part of the show. Don't forget, guys, all right? We are officially on tour this Sunday. I will be in Naples, Florida at the Off the Hook Comedy Club at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on March 3rd. You can still purchase your tickets. We got some tickets left on TashaKOnStage.com, or you can purchase right at the door when you get there. I'm showing up. I know most people don't, but I'm showing up. I don't care if it's 30 of y'all in the building. I'm going to sit on the stage and swing my legs and give y'all one hell of a damn show. I don't care. I ain't one of them. Now, don't forget, guys, all right, we got two. We got the Nature Boy series that we are bringing back, okay, on TashaKLive.com. It ain't went nowhere, all right, but we refeaturing it since he was found guilty on all charges today. I wasn't surprised. I was watching the case. Shout out to Nika at night for streaming it, okay, because Lord knows I ain't got cable or nothing like that, and Sling TV ain't free no more. So listen, definitely going to be talking about Tiffany Red suing Diddy. We're going to be talking about Diddy's uh, shooting victim, Bambi trying to beat, um, you know, scrapping Mama ass, Mama D. Princess Love announcing her divorce. Again, Dream Doll's boyfriend was just picked up uh, for drug trafficking charges. Anderson Pack's uh, divorce, okay? A cop suing the city because they won't, uh, it's another trans story, okay? Young Miami is depressed, all right? Will and Jada and Willow again, Jeannie and Jeezy are fighting. Scotty Pippen and Larsa Pippen are being sued. And much, much more, Kanye West. Is it Kanye West? Hold on for a second, Jazz. This is right in the middle. I can't see. Hold on. Kanye West. Hold on. Thank you, Jazz. I was like, dang, I'm looking. Like, when y'all see me like this, I'm trying to look at the pictures and the videos and stuff because the camera and stuff right here. Now, and Kanye West gets on IG to demand that his wife Kim take his kids out of school, okay? All that and more coming up right now on TashaKLive.com. If you want to see that show, it is on TashaKLive.com. You do have to subscribe via the website, okay? Then you can download the app and stream everywhere. Thank y'all so much everywhere. TikTok, Facebook, YouTube for just loving on me. I'm going to try my best to bring y'all more shows, but... I'm spread too thin, okay? I got to do live shows now, okay? So I think me sticking to the three a week, and I'm, I'm going to add a celebrity gossip show on Monday, okay? But that probably won't happen until April. So just bear with me, okay? Or who knows? You may mess around and get five. It may be a 30-minute show on Tuesdays and Thursdays after we watch Wine is the New Tea. Shout out to all 
all the lovely hosts on Wine is the New Tea for bringing y'all some heavy wine. These are some of my favorite creators that I am excited to work for. Y'all better show support, okay? I love them. I'm always in their chat. These are people's news that I follow, and they got some hell of fire great information, okay? And so please show support and be here on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to catch Wine is the New Tea, and you just never know which one of your favorite hosts are going to be hosting that way, okay? Thank you so much to Teddy. Thank you to my entire team. If you want to advertise on the platform, please feel free to, to hit us at ads at TashaKLive.com. If you have tips, don't forget to continue to hit me in the DM on Instagram at Unwind with Tash K. Uh, or you can email me at unwindwithtashk at gmail.com. And I love y'all so much. I can't wait to see y'all on tour on Sunday. I'm going to be in Naples, Florida. Get them tickets at $20. And with that being said, now I got to go. Bye.